What is up everyone? So today I want to talk about three stocks that I currently own and what I plan to do with these if I plan to sell them, hold them. Um, so yeah, let's just get into it. Uh, the first two that I own are two oil names. One is ConocoPhillips and the other is Schlumberger. Uh, I've owned ConocoPhillips for about uh, probably six months now. Um, I bought it back when it was $50 a share. Um, Conoco ended up going down to about $44 a share, uh, and now it's at around $55 per share, and it does pay a 2% dividend as well, so that's very nice too. Um, the second is Schlumberger, and I just bought this stock last week actually. Um, this one offers a 3% dividend, and it's actually rally quite a bit in the last uh, couple weeks but in the last uh, couple months it's really tanked quite a bit um, and that's why I just bought into this um, I think the shares are really attractive at this level um, the reason why it tanked so much the last uh, three months or so um, is is because they do own some assets in Venezuela and as you know Venezuela has had some pretty big issues and they're probably not going to be able to recover um, any assets that they have in Venezuela. Uh, so the market really reacted pretty negatively to to that news and uh, I saw that as an opportunity and I still think um, shares are really attractive at this this level. Um, the third name that I own is Spirit Airlines. Um, I bought this stock probably three or four months ago. Um, it was trading around $55 a share um, I think about six months back, um, it tanked all the way down to about $30 a share. And I picked some up, I think around the $34 to $35 range. And I think right now it's trading around $44 a share. So I'm up about 30% on that one. Um, and that one I am looking to sell here pretty soon. I think it bounced uh, pretty nicely. And I think it's really about fairly value right now. Um, I think it could go up a little bit more, but I think the upside is uh, pretty limited uh, at where it's at right now. So I'll probably be looking at selling that and taking that money and putting it into some more oil names. If you don't know, I'm pretty bullish on oil. Uh, it's rallied quite a bit in the last uh, about month. Um, it's rallied from about $45 a barrel all the way up to about $62 a barrel this last week. Um, so it's rallied quite a bit. Equities have rallied a little bit with, with oil, but um, they're still kind of lagging oil prices. Uh, I think it's, most of the oil stocks are just kind of waiting to see um, if oil stays around this level. And if it does, um, I think they'll start to rally more. So yeah, now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys uh, the charts of these stocks and where I look, where I'm looking at selling and where I see these stocks going. So this is the first stock that I own. Um, this one is ConocoPhillips. Uh, they are an oil and gas company. And I believe I bought it back at around this time. It was, uh, I bought it for $50 a share. Um, and obviously, um, you know, it went down quite a bit. It's kind of hard to time uh, the bottom of like some of these oil stocks. And re really in any stock, it, it can be really hard to time the bottom. So yeah, I went down to $42 a share and right now it's trading at around $57 a share. So it has rallied quite a bit with oil prices. Um, show you a chart of crude oil. Um, these should be pretty much lockstep. As you can see, crude bottomed around 42 in, that was in June and it's rallied all the way to $62 a barrel. And Conoco has rallied with that. Um, Schlumberger, this is the one that has really had some trouble. Um, they've had, they, or they currently have assets in Venezuela. Um, and, you know, the crisis that's going on there is the reason why this has been struggling so much. Um, and at bottom around $61 a share, I, I bought it um, around this level for, I think it was around $69 a share. So, yeah. I mean, it's hard to t uh, time the bottom of these things. Um, I mean, I wish I would have bought around this level, but like I said, it's really hard to time these things. And this is, so Schlumberger is more of a service company. They don't actually drill. They're more of a servicing company for oil and gas companies. 
um, kind of exactly like Halliburton, but this one I liked because it provides, I think, or it does have a better dividend yield, and I think the recent sell-off really provided a great investment opportunity. As you can see, a year back, uh, when oil wasn't doing so well, this was still at this is still an $87 uh, per share company. So yeah, as you can see, it's rallied quite a bit. Um, I think with oil, let's go to a five-year setup. And these will trade pretty much in lockstep with oil, both Conco and Schlumberger. Schlumberger might differ a little bit because they, they don't rely quite as heavily on um, actual oil prices because um, they don't actually drill. But the healthier that the drillers are, um, the better Schlumberger does. So yeah, this one bottomed. And this was back when oil was at $28 per barrel, which um, which was really crazy. Um, that would have been the time to buy back then. Um, but that was, you know, over a year ago. And it really hasn't done too much since then. I think, you know, right now it's really starting to break out. I mean, if I show you a chart of crude oil, which I'll do right now, um, these charts will be really... Um, pretty much on lockstep. So yeah, as you can see, back in this is 14, uh, midway through 2014, that's when crude started to tank. Um, you know, it's it's gonna have some resistance in this level, the 60 to 62 dollars per per barrel. From there, I do think oil this year, I think it's gonna be in the 70 to 75 dollar per barrel range. Um, from there on, I see uh, supplies tightening and continue to tight, tighten, um, and I see it's you know going back up um, above 80 and eventually back up to $100 a barrel. So then, if we go to a five-year of Schlumberger, this one might be a little bit different. Um, I mean, it's still pretty much with the price of oil, it does fluctuate quite a bit. Um, it topped around $118 per share back in 14. Um, went way down when oil bottomed at $28 per barrel. Um, since then, it, it's rallied, you know, quite a bit. Um, this is when I think oil was around $50 per barrel. And then from there, it really struggled um, and went back down uh, pretty much where it was when oil was $28 per barrel. And that's why I thought this was a really attractive time to buy it, uh, because even with oil um, rallying all the way from 42 to 62 um, this really hasn't rallied too much with it. So yeah, I think this one, you know, they don't own too many assets in Venezuela. Um, so I don't think this is going to struggle too much longer. I think the market just kind of overreacted with this one. Um, and I see, you know, it really all depends on oil prices, but I do see this going back up, um, at least in this range here, pretty, pretty near term. Um, and the last stock that I own is Spirit Airlines. And as you can see, it really tanked back in July, um, trading all the way from about 55, all the way down to a low of it was around $30 per share. And I believe I bought it at about $34 per share um, back in this time frame, and it has since rallied to about $43, $44 range. And from here, I you know, I don't see a ton of upside from here. Um, it might go back up into the $50, $55 range. Um, but they are still struggling with uh, getting a uh, pilot agreement signed. Um, their pilots are currently still and have been for a while now, which is part of the reason for the sell-off. They've been on a strike um, and they've been negotiating with spirits to get a salary agreement signed and they're still working on that. So I mean, when that does get completed, I do see it rallying more. But, you know, I may look at selling this here um, within the next month or so. Uh, Schlumberger and ConocoPhillips, those are definitely longer term holdings. I do not plan to sell those anytime soon. I will hold these or those for at least another two, three years um, as I expect oil to rally back to $100 per barrel within the next three years. Um, so those are definitely longer term holdings. This one was just kind of a, I saw an opportunity that the share sold off uh, more than they should have. 
and I jumped in around here and I'm up about 30%. So, I mean, I may look at, if it rallies anymore, I'll probably definitely look at selling. Um, I don't see a whole lot of more upside for this, especially with uh, oil going back up. Pretty much all airlines, their margins are going to start to come down a little bit the higher the oil goes. So, I mean, uh, airlines can be kind of inversely related with oil. You know, as oil goes back up, their margins are going to come down. Um, obviously, that's a major expense is uh, jet fuel. So, yeah, that's I just want to show you a few positions that I had. So that's it for this video, guys. I just kind of wanted to go over uh, a few stocks that I own and kind of where I'm looking at selling these, uh, where I bought them at, uh, kind of the reason for my thought process for buying these and uh, where I look to sell these. So I'll see you guys in the next video. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you made it this far through the video. Uh, hit the like button. Uh, go ahead and leave a comment down below too. Uh, let me know what you think of my picks. And uh, yeah, and I'll see you guys in the next one.